These are the most advanced stunt robots in the world. Some of them were inspired by Hollywood movies, while others are taking on superhero roles in real life. But how are they built and functioning more like human beings? Let's find out. Welcome to Explained. Robots are no longer just big screen fantasies. They're actually being brought to life with full functionality. But some of them don't look like robots at all. For example, the Hum Rider designed by special effects house A to Z FX looks like an ordinary SUV. But with the push of a button, this car transforms. It widens and elevates itself five feet in the air using a custom made hydraulic lift system powered by a Honda generator. And this allows the driver to comfortably cruise over cars in traffic. The car weighs 3,855 kilos and it has thicker and bigger tires to support its weight. It also has four cameras underneath its body that helps visualize the cars it's driving over. Pretty cool, right? There are other cars that transform as well, like the Mercedes Viano and the BMW Transformer by Latrons. But what happens when you add artificial intelligence to the mix and make robots more human? Introducing Atlas. This robot, built by Boston Dynamics, has athletic intelligence that can actually do parkour. It's 5 feet tall, weighs 86 kilos, is battery powered, and works on a hydraulic system. So how does Atlas run a parkour course? It was designed with 18 degrees of freedom of movement. And to help it navigate a parkour course, it uses RGB cameras with depth sensors. These sensors feed data into a control system with three computers where basically perception is converted into action. So this robot can not only get from point A to point B, but it can also correct its footsteps along the way and maintain balance. By having Atlas run a parkour course, its engineers are able to identify problems and extend its capabilities. But why was it built in the first place? The work that we're doing now, I view as really just foundation building. We're building the core capabilities that we think any useful robot will need. And in doing so, we're really defining the next set of challenges that we're going to be working on over the next two to five years. Atlas's athletic abilities are impressive, but this next robot doesn't just walk and jump, it can fly too. Presenting Leonardo. Leonardo is short for legs on board drone and it was developed by a team at Caltech. This little guy is only two and a half feet tall, but has some super cool skills. It's actually the only robot in the world that can walk a slack line, ride a skateboard, and fly. But this hybrid ability is complex. So how did they build this? First, they studied the way birds are able to walk and fly. Next, they gave Leo two legs made with three joints, and then they added four propeller thrusters mounted at an angle on its shoulders. And all of this works together to help it control its balance. But Leo still has a long way to go before we can see it being used in the real world. A more human looking robot that can function more autonomously is Amica. It was designed by Engineered Arts and we actually got to interact with it. Amica, can you dance? Well, I'm not particularly in the dancing mood, but I will show you some of my moves. To make it look and feel more human, its designers did something they call animation first. Essentially, they first studied how humans move around and then designed Amica's mechanics around it. Then they automated the expressions, and because the mechanics are designed on human movement, it looks more lifelike. It also has a camera in each of its eyes so it can see what's going on. It can see people and objects and react accordingly. But what will it be used for? To start off with, it's mainly going to be interaction. So actually talking with a person, engaging with the public. So it might be that you'll find one of these can ask it where the restrooms are. Now, the most advanced robot with the craziest athletic skills we've ever seen is this guy, Spider-Man. That's right. This Spider-Man robot was created by Disney's engineers and roboticists and performs like a real stuntman. This stuntronic or stunt robot actually puts on an incredible show every day at the Avengers campus in the US. It flips, twists, flies through the air, strikes superhero poses, makes a perfect landing, and it has the intelligence to learn and self-correct in real time. But how do they make it so real? 
Obviously, it went through a bunch of prototypes. But Stickman got the show on the road. When flying through the air, it could fold itself into a Z-shape and unfold into a straight line that was 2.1 meters long. And that's about the average height of a human stuntman with his arms raised. Next came a more human-looking prototype that was 5 foot 9 inches in height, weighed 43 kilos, and had a 3D printed aluminum body. This was even more advanced and it could control its posture, rotate, and strike dramatic superhero poses in mid-air. So we started with a, a 40 foot high throw and we kept throwing this higher and higher and higher till we pretty much peaked out the winch. Yeah, what around throws, 65 feet. Yeah, the throws are about 65 feet high in the air. And there was this kind of magical moment where I think it was, it's around 55 feet. It feels like it, shouldn't it have come down by now? Like, you know, like it feels like it's floating. That was yeah. a cool moment. Spider-Man Stuntronic opens doors to the possibility of it being used as a stunt double in real superhero and action films. Usually, actors have to test stunts repeatedly for a director before the actual filming starts. And this gets pretty physically taxing and can lead to injury. But with a Stuntronic robot, the director can test as much as he likes, and when he's ready, the real stuntman can be plugged in. As advanced and capable as all of these robots are, they are far from perfect. For example, Atlas has had a few crashes while performing parkour stunts. The Spider-Man Stuntronic has also malfunctioned during a show. As technology improves, the possibilities of how these robots can integrate into movies and our everyday lives are endless. Have you ever seen or interacted with any of these robots in real life? What was it like? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.